welcome. So I want to go through a marginal cost and net change example. Uh, and here's the setup. So we have that this is the um, number of books printed is um, going to be denoted by x. We have the marginal cost rate is the derivative here of some function c, which is the cost. And I want to know the cost of producing the 12,000 and first through 15,000th book. Okay, and what we're going to end up doing is we're going to look at the cost of producing the first 15,000 and then subtracting off the cost of producing the first 12,000 because we're starting with the 12,000 and first. Okay, so let's uh, go ahead and do this. So solution. We're going to have, so I'm going to have C of 15,000 right, the cost of producing all of the first 15,000, subtracted off the cost of producing the first 12,000, because we want to start with the 12,000 in first. Okay, so let's just kind of uh, indicate that that's going on here. So this is the cost for the first 15,000 books. And this is the cost that we're getting rid of for the first 12,000 books. Okay, and that we know is going to be the integral from, and we're going to, we're going from x, so we're going from x equals uh, 12,000 x equals 15,000, and then this is where we can put in this marginal cost or this derivative here. So I get, uh, so I'm just putting in c prime of x here from over here, so this is going to be uh, 12 minus 0.0002x, well, dx, okay? Um, so that just came from over there because this is my c prime of x, which uh, we know that that would be this integral here. So then we can go, go ahead and compute this. And what I end up getting, so this is just a polynomial function, so this should be very straightforward to compute. So that this, this is just, uh, so I'm taking 12x minus 0 0.001x squared, right? Because Right, so how do, what do I get from here? I'm going to get, I'm going to get the, this 2x becomes x squared. So, so this, um, what ends up happening is we have x squared divided by 2 times, um, maybe I'm just going to write this here for us so that uh, we don't miss that. So how did I get this here? This is the same thing as 0 0.0001 times x squared, oops, 2 like this, times x squared divided by 2. And so when we divide by 2, that's how I end up with a 1 there. Okay. And this goes from 12,000 to 15,000. Okay, and then I can put these values in, so I'm going to get that this is equal to 12, and then I can put in my 15,000, right, minus... 0 0.0001 and 15,000 squared. Okay, so this is for the first time. And then I have to do this again, right, subtract off. And then I have here, so I have 12 times this whole thing minus 0 0.0001 times this squared like this. Okay, and then I can go ahead and put in these bounds. So in the first one, I have to put in 15,000. And I have to put in 15,000, then I have to put in 12,000, and 12,000. And then, um, it's always good to have computed things ahead of time, this just ends up being 27,900. Okay, so that the only really tricky part here is realizing that I'm taking the cost of the first 15,000 books and subtracting off the cost of the first 12,000 books. And then this is exactly, right, because this, this here is just C prime of X. This is exactly as we know these things work by like the net change theorem, okay?
And then it's, you're, you're just integrating a polynomial. So there's nothing tricky there. Okay? So this is actually the last lecture. So thank you for this half a semester with me. And I hope that you're starting to get the hang of some of this stuff. And then uh, next week will be uh, Dr. Perlman will start with you and you're going to kind of do all kinds of new stuff. Um, but I wanted to make sure to get in a certain amount of examples this week so that you could um, get more practice and understand both how to do these things better as well as how to apply them. Um, we're not just teaching you a whole bunch of abstract nonsense. Um, and I also kind of wanted to get you started getting familiar and comfortable with exponential functions and logarithms because they're going to play a big role um, probably in whatever you do. Okay, great. So thank you. And I won't see you in the next lecture, but maybe sometime down the road.